Hey everyone. So in this video, we're going to be looking at the big ideas for section 7.1, where we were introduced to uh, sampling distributions. So one of the things that we need to start doing is using proper notation. And we want to use the proper notation for our statistics and the proper notation for our parameters. So we've got to know the difference between the two and we need to know what our symbols are. So as we look at this, what we see is this. A statistic is used to estimate a parameter. We need to know that. Statistics come from samples. Parameters describe populations, and that's what I've got down here. But if we look at our symbols, this is p hat, which is the symbol for sample proportion. p hat estimates p, which is the population proportion. So our sample proportion p hat estimates the popul population proportion p. x bar is our sample mean, and it estimates mu, which is our population mean. So the sample mean, x bar, estimates mu, the population mean. And then finally, s, which is our sample standard deviation, estimates the population standard deviation, which is sigma. So s estimates sigma. The sample standard deviation estimates the population standard deviation. You need to be using the proper notation, proper symbols when you're talking about uh, statistics and use the proper symbols when talking about parameters. And like I said before, a statistic is a number that describes a sample, but a parameter is a number that describes a population. So we collect samples and take sample statistics and use them to estimate population parameters. In this lesson, we were introduced to different distributions. So let's take a look at the three different ones that we have. A population distribution shows all of the individual data points for the entire population. You don't see population distributions very often, but if you did, um, it would be a distribution that shows all the data points of the entire population. A sample distribution, notice that's different than a sampling distribu distribution, but a sample distribution shows some of the data points from a population. So if you had a population of uh, people and you took a sample of 20 people from that population and measured their weight, and you put those weights for those 20 people into a distribution, that would be called a sample distribution. Now, a sampling distribution shows, all the, shows the statistic found from all possible samples of a particular size. So a sampling distribution is a distribution that is filled with a bunch of uh, statistics that come from samples. So there's a big difference between a sample distribution and a sampling distribution. For a sampling distribution, you choose any kind of statistic. Most of the time, it's either a mean or a, um, a sample mean or a sample proportion. But once you find that statistic for every possible sample and you put that into a distribution, that's called a sampling distribution. Now, we're not quite finished with our big ideas for this lesson. We got one more page to look at here. And that the next thing we want to talk about is unbiased estimators. So what is an unbiased estimator? Well, a statistic is called unbiased, or it is an unbiased estimator if the mean of the sampling distribution, the mean of the sampling distribution is equal to the true parameter. So these statistics over here, these could be any, these are all sampling distributions. Let's just say that these are all sampling distributions. Well, we, it doesn't matter what the statistic is. These could be sample proportions. These, these could be sample means. These, these could be sample um, medians. These could be sample um, standard deviations. But if we look at the sampling distribution, and the sampling distribution, or I should say the mean of the sampling distribution is equal to the true parameter, whatever parameter it's trying to estimate, then we would say that's unbiased. 
So if we look at this, we have, let's say all of this comes from the same data set. And here's our sampling distribution. Here's another sampling distribution. Here's another sampling distribution. Statistic A and statistic B, these two are, these are unbiased estimators. We're going to assume that this red line right here is the true parameter, whatever that parameter may be. This is the true parameter. Well, for statistic A, this particular statistic does a really good job of estimating the true parameter, which is this red line right in the middle here. So we would say that this is unbiased. Statistic B, we could also say is unbiased. We've got this bell-shaped curve, and the mean of a bell-shaped curve is right in the middle, and right in the middle of this distribution is where the true parameter is located, right there. So this is also an unbiased estimator. Well, then we get to statistic C. This is not an unbiased estimator, okay? It may look a little bit bell-shaped, or it looks quite a bit bell-shaped, but the mean of this distribution looks like it's a right around four instead of right around two. So this is, an, this is a biased estimator because it does not estimate the true parameter very well. The mean of this distribution is not equal to the true parameter. Whereas right here, the mean of this red distribution is equal to the true parameter. The mean of this purple distribution is equal to the true parameter. Both of these are unbiased. Unbiased, this one is biased. Finally, the last thing we need to talk about is variability amongst sampling distributions. And what we need to know is this. If we increase the sample size, we will decrease the variability of the statistic. So whatever this statistic is, let's say it's sample proportions. The sample size for this distribution at the top has got to be larger than the sample size of this distribution in the middle, statistic B. Um, they're both estimating the same statistic, or I should say they're both estimating the same parameter, but this one is much less, has much less variation than this one. And because of that, that tells me that each one of these dots has a larger sample size than each one of these dots. So for example, this particular distribution, the sample size might be, I don't know, let's say 30. Whereas this distribution, the sample size might be 10. So when you increase the sample size, and they're both trying to estimate the same parameter, when you increase the sample size, you're going to end up getting less variation in your sampling distribution. All right, so those are the big ideas for section 7.1. Hopefully this is, makes things easier for you to understand, and hopefully you have a great day.